Hello everyone and welcome to this playwright tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the assertions which are non-retrying. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial, we learned that what are the assertions and we specifically cover what are the retrying assertions. So now let's see about what are the non-retrying assertions. For that, let's go to the browser here and go to the playwright website here. Playwright and we need to go to the official website here go to the docs here and here scroll down you will find the assertions here and in our previous tutorial we learned that what are the auto retrying assertions now let's scroll down and go to the non retrying assertions here and now what are these non retrying assertions these assertions allow to test any conditions but do not retry auto retry most of the time web pages show information asynchronously and using non retrying assertions can lead to a flaky test right so preference is always to the auto retrying but in some cases you might need to use the non retrying assertions and when we talk about the auto retrying basically they will keep retrying until the assertion passes or the assertion timeout is reached okay so these are the non retrying assertions and simply uh, let me go to the user studio code here and let me create a new file here and we try underscore assertions dot spec dot yes okay and let me copy this first line of code from here and paste it here and now uh, for this particular sessions uh, session I will be using the website so this is the website sendmbase.io just copy this one and open this one here and here you see that uh, these are the uh, you know practice or demo page from here we will be using uh, asserting the things here okay and let me go here and let me create a test block here and I'm mean, naming it as non retry assertions then we need async followed by the page fixture and then finally we will have a arrow function and the body of the arrow function so this is our block of uh, test here and the first thing is that we need to go to the website so wait page dot go to uh, it we need to provide the url okay so let me copy this url from here and paste it here okay so the first thing is that let's try to assert the title okay and non retry means that if it's fail it will not retry it will immediately fail the script okay so const title equals to await then page dot title so this will grab the title and save this one into the variable known as title okay now we need to use the assertion here so expect then expect title dot to be right and here we need to verify the title okay so let me go to the browser here right click on this one go to inspect and inside the header area you will find the copy this one go here and paste this one okay and let me change this one so that we can see the failures here and now uh, let's execute this one and px before that let me clear this one so npx play right test minus g i will grabbing this particular test so test name is non re non we try sessions okay 
and I will be using a edit mode here. So let's run this one and it will go to the website and it will immediately fail this thing. It will not retry. Okay. So retry in sense of verifying the element. Okay. So we got uh, the assertion here, error here, and we see that this is assertion which called fail here. So expected was this and receive this. Okay. Now if I go and let's try to assert more values here. So in terms of uh, you know asserting the different values from here. So let me look into some variables of uh, elements to verify. Now uh, let's go with the URL thing here. Let's verify that URL should contain, for example, this demo underscore page, and and I will create again a variable here cost page URL is equals to await. Okay, then page dot URL. So it will get the URL and save this into the page URL variable. Okay. Now, once we have this one and simply expect, then page page URL. Okay, so now a uh, page URL to contain, and it should contain demo underscore page. Okay. This is what we are going to assert here. And now let me fail this one intentionally and see what happens here. And repeat the command again. See what happens here. So you see that it's immediately failing this one and closing this one. Okay. And again here you will see that the assertion fail. This is a uh, the substring we are expecting, but this is not the case. Okay, and let me remove this one and go here and let's run this again and see what happens here. So you see that it immediately passed here. Now, what happens if our first test failed here? Okay, let me here save this and run this one and see what happens. So it will fail again it will fail and if we talk about this one it eventually will not execute the second test here because our first test is failing here okay and here you see that this is failing right okay now uh, let's uh, move here and let's try to set more values. Uh, let's go to the browser here again. And for example, you see that we have multiple checkboxes here. Now let's assert that there should be more than zero checkboxes available on this page. Okay. And for that, let me go back here. And simply I will again create a variable const. And I will name it as all check boxes equals to await page dot locator so now i need a locator which gives me all the check boxes so if i go here and inspect any of the check boxes here so you see see that the type is actually a check box here okay so based on this one i can actually grab all the check boxes from this particular page okay so I'll be writing a X path here. So input okay, at type is equals to check box. Okay. And so this is a simple, you know, the X path I have written here. And if I go and copy this one, go here and this go here so you see that it's selecting the check boxes here okay one of six right so now go back to the code here and what we'll do is that we'll get a count of it so using the count function 
I will get the count of all the checkboxes. Okay, so simply expect all checkboxes dot to be. So we have different you know assertions here. So I will be going with the greater than. So I am saying that the count of the checkboxes should be greater than the value. So value is basically I am giving here is zero. Okay, and now we are good to go. Let's run this one and see what happens here. So it should pass basically uh, because it will find the number of checkboxes to be greater than zero. And if I say that it should be greater than let's suppose 15, and we know that we don't have the 15 checkboxes in this particular page, so this time it should be failing this one. Okay, so you see that we have the failure now. So we have received five, but you know we are expecting greater than 15. Okay, that's that's why we are getting the failure here. So again, I'm going to zero here. And saving this one. Now, uh, if we count, if we want to assert the length of any text here, we can also do that. So, uh, simply go back here, and so this is written as demo page here. So, if I go here, so it's uh, h1 heading here. So, let's try to count or check, or verify the length of this one. Okay. So, simply again. I will create a variable cons and here I am you know verifying the length so element length equals to await page dot locator and I will be using the locator of this one and from that I will be extracting the text of this one okay and I will be using expect element length which is a variable name dot to have length and I am saying that for example 20 I am not sure about the length right now okay and here we need a selector of this one, the locator of this one so we have pro path we have this one so we will go here and we are getting the x path and css of this element so let me go here again and select this one so this is the selector here css selector the value of css selector is this one let me copy this one from here and go back here and provide this one and now let's run this one and see what happens here simply so as we are not sure about the length apparently it looks like a less than 20 so it should fail here and yes it's failing here and uh, here you see that the expected length we had 20 and we received 9 okay and this is the string we got so we got all the information here so if i go here expected length to have 9 and save this one here and now if I run this again here, so you will see that this time it should be passing now. And throughout this story, we observe that as soon as the session fails, it breaks our script and it's not retrying this one. But as compared to the retrying the sessions, you will it will try until it will pass or it will keep trying till the default timeout. So we'll go to the website here just for your reference here so by default uh, the wait time is basically the 5 second timeout for the session is 5 second so it is recommended that you should go with the auto retrain sessions in case uh, if there is something which you cannot assert using these ones then in that case you can go with these sessions as well thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial